Hey guys, happy Sunday. I am here to show you a Frank Garcia haul. So let's go ahead and dive in. Links will be below, discount code will be below. So anything over $75, free shipping. And yeah, that's it, let's dive in. Okay, so this is stuff that's been sporadic. Like this machine, I'm gonna show you this little tool right here I purchased a while ago. But now that I got the rings, now I can show them together. So first things first, I got these absolutely adorable scissors. They're like embroidery type scissors, fussy cutting scissors. It comes with a little pink uh, thingy to stick them in. So Frank has those and the camera is like, yeah, we're not going to focus. There we go. So that's that. I'm going to put this to the side because I'm going to show you the die for that. This right here is a new cinch punch die. Um, I will not die. Good gracious. Um, it's just a new, it's a disc punch. Okay. And it does multiple punches. And, um, I have the single one that my beautiful friend Susan got me. And then this one right here is to do bigger ones. So this right here, it goes in deeper. So it's not real shallow and it works exactly the same way as the first mini cinch that I showed you with the guides right there. Exactly the same. Your little menu is right here. But again, I will be putting something together and then showing you that. But I wanted to show you that I do have this. Frank has this at the studio. Um, I believe this is $99. And then this right here are the coordinating discs that he has. These are the Maggie Holmes. And this one has like glitter sparkle on it. And then he has this mint green and the pink is on its way. He didn't have the pink quite yet. And um, these right here... They're both 549 but it doesn't say the size discs they are but they look like they're one inch discs but um it doesn't matter what size discs you can use um any size disc so yeah, it's actually about an inch and a quarter all the way around so i got those okay and then he just got these in which are the lawn fawn dies I love it. It's very hard to find like Mother's Day stuff. Um, so I wanted to get this die right here and I love it because it's all one piece, even that little apostrophe or quote, or what is the word, real word for that? Apostrophe, right? <laughs> and um, so it's all one cut. Okay, there's a price for that. And he also got these in as well. So here is this super stinking cute stamp. Look at the bunny holding a heart. Stop it. So stinking cute. And then that's a super good price. Lawn Fawn is normally very pricey. And then here's the coordinating die. So that's for the bunny and the heart that the bunny's holding. Okay. So I grabbed these. The dwarves. And then I also grabbed this. This is right here because I'm going to be doing a Lawn Fawn class in March. Um, at Frank's studio and this is a component for that so that it can slide so you can have like a little critter and then on the card and it'll slide so these are slide over waves okay and it's $6.99 and you guys know that this is my jam right here so do not worry I will be putting these together and showing you these on a card honeybee I love their layering flower dies so I will be putting this together, okay. And what is this? It's called Lovely Layer Tulips, okay, $21.99. And these right here, <clears throat> you do not need a coordinating stamp for because you can use either different colored cardstock or like me, I like to use the different inks and creating every petal to look slightly different because you know all flowers are never identically the same so that's the tulip one and then this one right here and let me see there's the price is called lovely layer roses the card on this is so stinking cute like i've saw um i've seen honeybee and um the designers for how they've created it is amazing so these all layer on top of each other. But like I said, don't worry, I will be putting this together. And honestly, you look at a lot of this 
and you're thinking, mm, that's just way too much because I'm, I'm that girl. But for me, I already know these four. I'm going to throw in on one swoop, get it out, all these other layering, and then here's a stem. You can put these all in like at least two swipes. And if you have the XL, um, um, I think probably even the new Sizzix automatic one, you could just do this in all in one swoop. But for me, I would do these in all like a solid, uh, um, white cardstock because I'm going to use inks unless you wanted to use different colored cardstocks and do your um, layers that way. So don't fret. I will show you these when I put these together. Okay. And right now he has 12 new embossing folders by Lora by Lora. And um, these are the new six by eight and a quarter inch embossing folders. And I love this because this is perfect because I like to do five by five cards. So this right here is perfect, large mama jamma. So I'm gonna show you that this is on 65 pound cardstock. So these are the little dots and every one of these are just subtle. They're not meant to be over the top, like 3D dimensional. They're meant, they're subtle embossing folders. Okay. So I cut this at six by eight and a quarter. So you'll see it doesn't cover um, the whole part right here, but I wanted to use one eight and a half by 11, cut it in half. And then this is all I would need anyways. I don't need it to be from, you know, side to side because I would just cut my five by five out of here. So this is just the dots. And um, uh, I believe these all go by number, but I will have the link below guys where you can see everything. So don't worry. So for those of you that like embossing folders, you're going to love this. So I'm going to quickly go through these. Okay. So this one right here is this really beautiful heart. Okay. And they're all the same size. So you can see how it looks. Again, this is 65 pound weight cardstock, just the Michaels. And don't think you can't use heavy weight. I'll show you in the last one that I did because there was 12 of these. So I had, <laughs> I had to um, grab like, because I didn't want to waste all my good stuff. So um, until I'm ready to use these. So here is this one. And here is how it embosses. And on these right here, wherever you, how you see the lettering, that's how you know that's gonna be the top part, the embossed part. The reverse side will be the bottom. So you'll always know you need to stick your cardstock this way where you see the letter and that's how you know you'll get the, the right side up. But how pretty is that? Very delicate and subtle. Totally love it. These are all $10.99 each, okay? This one right here is kind of just like a squared look, but when you layer these, they're gorgeous. So this is how this one looks. These are all six by eight and a quarter that I'm showing you, okay? All right, next one is this one right here. And this is how it embosses. Dainty little stars. So super cute, okay? And then here is the super cute little itty bitty hearts. It looks like this. And this is how it embosses. Very, very dainty. Super duper cute. You wanna make sure you use an embossing folder um, shim so that it does it really nice where you see it like this. If you don't have a shim like me, I don't have one. This works in your normal big shot size. You do not have to have an XL to use this. Um, all I did was stick 110 pound cardstock and I just did it, I layered it on top of my layers and then I put it through. So I used uh, another piece of cardstock as my shim and I used 110. This right here are little two, I think they're just like, oh gosh, they're petals. That's what they are. Little petals and then you see right here, just like little tiny flower pieces. Very cute and delicate. Okay, this one right here looks, oops, sorry guys. Ah. Well, let's not do that. Let's just do it this way. These are like little stitches. Like they're all pointed with like, you know, um, like all, I don't know how to explain that, but it's super cute. I love it. So, and then this is the reverse side. It's up to you if you wanted this part to show up or if you wanted the other side completely up to you. This right here is where you can actually feel it. And this right here, right here is the flat part. 
So that would be up to you how you would want that. This right here is this one. Absolutely gorgeous, right? So dainty and cute. And mind you, I'm a 3D emboss lover folder, embossing folder lover. Um, but I like things like this because this is just good to have in your stash for different style cards. Not everything requires a dimensional. So I now I have options. Okay, this one right here is just like different, looks like different stitches. So here's how it looks. Absolutely beautiful. All right, next one is this one right here. And this is how it looks. How pretty is that? Look at how delicate the little moon. Perfect for, I guess, if you wanted to do baby cards. How fun. Okay, and then the last one is the rainbows that look like this. And this is how it embosses. Okay. Super. And this is 65 pound. This right here is 110. And this is how it shows up on a 110 cardstock. So it still feels really good. You just want to make sure that you use a shim. If you already have an embossing folder shim, then you're good to go. Okay. So those are all of those. Now let's move on to the new collections. All right, so this right here, <clears throat> these are collections from Spain that um, Frank was able to get that he is the only one able to get these ones right here. So these are new, she's called The Mint Feather. She is on YouTube and she's absolutely amazing. Let me tell you the aesthetic on her videos and on Instagram, oh my gosh, they're just beautiful. So this right here, this price point to make this suitcase, game changer. So you only cut all of these out one time, except for this piece right here, you have to cut out twice. And everything else she provides is like, you get the two that you need here, you get the two that you need here, and this one, this one you need to do twice, and that's it. Everything else is one swipe through. It makes this absolutely adorable suitcase. So cute. And the cool thing is, is it comes with this little liner. How adorable is that? And I did this in 110 cardstock, the base of it. And then I used, I'm trying to do this on the side of the camera. Okay. Um, and then I used this right here is just regular 65 pound weight. The little buckle thingy right here is 65. This is 65. The inside is 65. These right here for the luggage is 110. This is a beautiful flower from Cuddle Me Clay, I think. Nope, this isn't Cuddle Me Clay, that's not true. This is scrapping for my boys, I believe. She also sells flowers on Instagram. So, cause I know she uses the metals on the inside. Okay, so this is how this suitcase looks and the measurement of this, and you wanna use liquid glue. Do not even attempt to use hot glue for this. <clears throat> Okay, so it's at three inches side by side. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. And then top to top is about two inches, about two and an eighth inch from top to bottom. Once it's closed, you got about a good inch and a quarter inside. So this is really cute if you wanted to add something adorable. Then you know us, we can get these and then create them and then stack them. And that would be extra stinking cute. And I love it because it's really durable. I loved that the 110 cut really, really well. No issues. And on these strips right here, there's little score marks. So you know exactly where to fold. So you don't have to worry about you trying to figure that part out. And then <clears throat> it has like the little buckles inside here is where these do slide through. I just, of course, am I... I'm trying to look on the side of the camera, make sure I'm still in focus here. Oops. There we go. There we go. So see, super duper cute. Love this. Okay. So that's what that die does. Then this one right here is Jane, the Jane collection. And here are the puffy stickers. This is all that comes with the collection. Okay. This is all that he has, so there was nothing that I missed. Okay, so it's $5.99. And then this right here is the ephemera pack. 
how cute. And I believe there's 72 pieces to this. No, 96. I lied. 96 femora pieces. And they are stinking gorgeous. I'm not going to take them all. Here's $6.99. I'm not going to take them all out, but I'm going to kind of just like put them in my hand just so you can kind of see because there are a lot of like little super stinking cute pieces. Remember, guys, this is from Spain. So there will be Spanish words. Okay. So you can see right here everything that it kind of, the quiero. And also, too, always know that if you are not a Spanish speaker, these can always be layered. But for those of uh, my Latino friends out there and Latinas, perfect. Just gorgeous. Look at that. So I'm not going to, like I said, I'm not going to take all of them out. I just kind of wanted to give you an idea of this beautiful collection. I believe my friend Tammy SS Crafter One purchased this collection. And um, she's not Latin, but she's going to be able to work this out, make it absolutely beautiful. So I just don't want anyone to feel that just because there's Spanish words in here that you would not be able to use this and make it amazing. Look at the little typewriter. So cute. Butterflies, flowers, birds, just super cute. And like you get 96 of these pieces. So just wanted to go through that a little bit. Look at that little bit and heart. How cute. So this right here is the ephemera. Did I grab all of them? I don't want to miss any of those. Okay. And then we have these right here, which are the vellum pieces. So there's the price for that. And... Here is how they look. Okay. <laughs> I love the little sentiments that are absolutely adorable. And see, for right here, honestly, guys, you could just cut this part off if you didn't want the Spanish part. So these are all vellum. Oh, I like that one. Okay. They're just fun. They're they're like simple. They're a lot of the ladies from Spain. They have like a certain aesthetic. I follow a lot of them on YouTube, and I I just love the aesthetic. Like um, Obed Marshall. Um, it's part of the Spain family as well. So you'll notice that his collections have like this color palette. So here is the paper pad. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly flip through it. Let me turn my camera this way. Okay, this is $16.99. Half of it will be single sided and half of it will be double. Let me push this down a little bit. Okay, so here we go. Cute. All right, now this will be starting your double sided. So cute, these are wax seals. And I love it because these type of butterflies, they're easy to fussy cut out if you wanted to do that. And we all know butterflies are never easy to cut out because they're just beautifully intricate. How cute. Okay. So you get 36, you get 12 double-sided, 12 single-sided. Okay. This right here is the next collection, the Mint Feather. Love her stuff. I don't need a sequin. I don't need one piece of sequin. Not one. But when you see it like this, you're like, <laughs> I have to have it. And it's exact coordinating with this collection. I absolutely love it. And there's the price, $5.99. Okay. And then here are the frames. These are absolutely adorable. These are $7.99. And um, let's see how many you got. So, but I just wanted to quickly show you. These already have acetate 
okay? So um, these are ready to go and layer on top of whatever it is you want. So you get too large. You see everything's very pastel, super spring. Okay, and you get this purple and you get these little small ones. How cute are these guys? Oh my gosh, so cute. Okay, then we have these right here are acrylic little houses. Let me take it out of the plastic. I'm not gonna take them out because they're stuck on here, but the glare is no bueno. Just so you can see how they look outside of the package. Oh, good gracious. Okay. Very pastel, but they're all acrylic. Super duper duper cute. These little houses give me life. And you should, and the die cuts, oh guys, game changer. Okay. And then look at these enamel dots. How fun are these? And you get so many in different sizes. Absolutely gorgeous. This one right here is the ephemera pack. And you can just see $7.99. Um, I'll take out a handful. I'm not going to go one by one because there's just a lot of little ones. But I just kind of want you to get an idea. Let me put it here so I don't lose any. So you can see like the little houses. Look at that little VW wagon. There's a map. A typewriter. Right here has an English. This is also um, from Spain, so there will be Spanish words in here. But I just kind of want, it's just all of these little houses, even the cute little tickets. Oh my gosh. And they have like actual places, guys, on here. So, so cute with these little houses. Actually, I think this is the collection Tammy got because I pulled that order for her. So stinking cute. So I absolutely loved this whole thing. Okay, so let's go ahead and layer this on top. Because there's a lot of little pieces on this one. I'm going to have to clean this off camera. I don't want to waste everybody's time trying to do it now. Okay. And then I'll put that on the floor real quick and put this to the side. These have two different pads. This one right here is... Um, all of your like if you wanted to go ahead and cut these all out these are all like cut aparts they're not perforated for you to like pop out you would have to actually cut them out and this is for you to layer and make your own tags okay super cute here are some more cut aparts Again, you could always cover the Spanish with a different banner. I love that. So here's your English one. And there's one in Spanish. Just super cute. So this book right here is like your cut apart book. Of any piece that you would just wanna add some more. And look at the little map though, guys. How cute is that to put like as a back um, um, background for a card? I love it. Oops. Here is another one. These are 12 by 12s. Her style is very simple, very pastel. It's not super busy. In fact, a lot of the um, from Spain, their stuff isn't super over the top. You know, it's very simple so that you can do a lot of layering with colors and decorate it yourself. I love, that's the suitcase. Oh my gosh, stop it. Okay, and uh, where is the price on these? There was no price on this one. Shut up. I can't tell you, but don't worry. The link will be below. This is the next one, and this one right here. It's $15.99. Okay, and you get 24 papers. Okay, so these are, oops, these are double-sided. Okay, so you'll see the side has blue polka dots, the super cute bees, and it has the purple, 
This has really small little print. I don't know why my camera's not autofocusing. That's annoying. And but they're all in Spanish, but everything is pastel. And then look at how beautiful this is. Oh my gosh, look at that big piece. How cute would that be to put in a picture frame? And then you can just start layering it and making it how you want. That's absolutely gorgeous. Here's a big map. So you can use that. Oh my gosh, my stomach's growling. I'm starving. <laughs> I'm trying to get this stuff done. Natural light, you know. Look at how fun that is. Absolutely adorable. And then look at this side right here. That's the... Um, other side of that these are like little pastel raindrops these right here are very light like i don't know what those are i think they're keys um yeah they're like little keys that are crisscross but very light very faint so for those of you that are and these are solid colors to coordinate for those of you that like things that are not over the top busy this will be your jam this camera is really not not okay. All right, now we're getting to the very end. These right here are the new Lawn Fawn um, individual sheets. So I just wanted to show you these because I grabbed these. I will be using this um, for my um, card class that I'll be doing. So I wanted to have all the color palette. Love Lawn Fawn for all that brightness. It's absolutely gorgeous. Okay. And then we have right here, which is the Lawn Fawn collection pack. It's very, very spring, very pastel-y, and that's just, it gives me all the feels. So let me just take these out so I can get the glare out of your face. It's $11.99 for this pack. Okay, just so you can see the prints. Okay, so this one side of the paper, and then it stripes on the reverse. So I absolutely love this. I love Lawn Fawn paper. Oh, I have so much of their paper. Heck, I have so much of everybody's paper, if we're going to be honest. <laughs> so that is pretty much it, guys. That was a lot. That was a lot to show today. So get your wallets, guys. Get to shopping. And that's it. So I'll have all the links below. Hope you guys are having an amazing and super beyond blessed weekend. And um, like I said, I will be back to show you my cards. I have another project I got to work on. Design team project. So I'm busy. I got stuff I got to do. So have a great and amazing day, guys. Bye.